Okay. Now we're going to look at the, the outer portion of the uh, renal system. So here we have our suprarenal glands, which are where epinephrine or epinephrine are produced. You'll get a little more about that in lecture and certainly in endocrinology you will. Then we have the renal capsule, which is a fatty layer of tissue surrounding the outer portion of the kidney. So we'll remove the renal capsule, and then we can actually see the kidney itself, or in this case, it's calling it the renal cortex, which is just the outer layer of the kidney. And then the kidney is drained through a structure called the renal pelvis, we'll show you that on the models, into the structure right here called the ureter, at one on either side. Just a little quick note on this. This is where, you, when you're passing a kidney stone, this is where the kidney stones pass. And as you can see, the ureter lays right on top of the psoas major. And because of the neurological innervation of the psoas, as well as the neurological innervation of the kidney, when you're passing kidney stones, it actually causes severe uh, spasming of the psoas. And patients will come to you sometimes with just a pain into the groin, which is a psoas spasm. But just be aware that it could actually be a kidney stone causing that. Then, of course, the uh, ureters drain in to the urinary bladder, which I believe that is going to be on next week's material when we cover the inside of the urinary bladder. 